What's up? What's up, everybody? Welcome to another exciting episode of PTC Live. I want to do things a little bit differently today because there's some tremendous announcements and uh, opportunities that are being made available through the state of South Carolina um, before we launch into our program uh, today with uh, Mr. Philip Calhoun of our machine tool technology program. I want to talk to you about the no cost option for tuition and fees at Piedmont Technical College. Um, the state of South Carolina has made funding available for individuals who uh, have some college, individuals with no college, and recent high school graduates that are, uh, will be enrolling in Piedmont Technical College. A college eligible student who enrolls at PTC within a, with a minimum of six credit hours, uh, which is typically two courses, are eligible for PTC's free tuition for spring 2022 and summer 22 term. Um, we'll talk more about that, but just keep that in mind, the no cost for tuition and fees for stu eligible students who are going to be enrolling in a minimum of six credit hours uh, during spring 2022 and summer 2022. We'll talk to you a little bit more and get more information out about how you qualify, but just keep that in mind, a tremendous option for those individuals who wanted to finish a degree or wanted to get started. Um, but with no further ado, the man of the hour, Mr. Philip Calhoun in Machine 2 Technology. Philip, how you doing? I'm doing well, Steve. How you doing? I'm doing great, man. And listen, we got, we're got we happy to have you, and we're happy to be talking to you about that tremendous program that you have, one that I've always found extremely interesting as well. Um, so introduce yourself. Philip, give us, tell the folks a little bit about yourself, man. Well, um, my name is Philip Calhoun. Uh, Born and raised uh, local. I was actually born in, at the Greenwood Hospital and uh, raised in Ware Shows, South Carolina, about two miles outside of Ware Shows. Graduated from Ware Shows High School. Um, been in the area pretty much all my life. Um, worked around uh, Greenville. Um, spent a lot of my working career in um, about a 40 mile radius of where I am from sitting at right now. Uh, I'm actually a graduate of Peak Montec um, class of 2010 from the machine to department. Okay. Um, and that was how I found out about Peak Montec uh, through uh, a company that uh, I worked for. And um, I found my way to Peak Montec in 2009 and um, graduated 2010. And uh, that's when I kind of found out about the uh, instructor opportunities, but never thought I'd be sitting in this seat talking to the famous Steve Coleman <laughs> at the famous PTC. <laughs> Man, we're glad to have you. And, and uh, just a blessing for us to be able to have some of your caliber and quality as an instructor. But let's dive in. What is machine tool technology? Can you give us a description? If I want to go into machine tool technology, what am I getting myself into? Well, Steve, um, machine tool technology is kind of a lost word right now. Okay. Um, and it has been for a while. Um, uh, CNC, the computer numerical control uh, machine, uh, has kind of taken the forefront for its machine tool technology. Okay. But it is all under the same umbrella. Mm -hmm. uh, machine tool technology is the cover but um, it ranges from anywhere from simple household utensils and children's toys. Um, and it gets as wide and as ranged out uh, to the aerospace um, aerospace um, division. So you find machine tool technology in a lot of different arenas, medical, uh, aerospace, automotive, um, you name it more than likely somewhere in the backdrop, there is a machine somewhere creating the parts or the modes of stuff that you see. That's incredible. And, and so when we start talking about modern manufacturing uh, and the high level skill sets that are necessary to be able to compete in today's market, machine tool tech, I mean, let's say computer, num computerized numerical control, CNC, machine tool technology uh, has a tremendous place in the workforce now for individuals who are seeking employment in industry and other multiple facets of society? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, and bringing that up uh, right now, um, and it has been for about the last two years, my highest two uh, certifications 
um, have been the, the CNC uh, machine tool operator, and mm -hmm. uh, I have a, a quality certification that's available as well, um, which uh, we call it metrology, not to be confused with metallurgy or the study of weather, but uh, it's just a study of numbers. In simple terms, uh, it is a quality uh, inspection job, or basically the controller for any corporation. Um, if we shipping bad parts, we're not making no money and we're not gonna stay in business long. So um, when you talk about the, um, the CNC field in general, uh, it's driving, um, pretty much driving the economy for us, the, the machine inside of the house now. Um, we have a lot of students because of the controller part, uh, companies are hiring our students to run their automation systems and it has nothing to do with uh, machining. It's just because the systems are automated. Okay. So what we're talking about is today's modern, clean, well-lit and ventilated offices. So computer that CNC machine to technology is not that oily, it's kind of changed, hasn't it? It's, it's not one of those programs where we used to think of being in a hot lab, sweating out, uh, which is, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, but technology has improved and this field has opened up tremendously to carry its way throughout a myriad of uh, 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 industries in our service districts. Am I correct? Very, very much so. Um, over the last, uh, the last 10 years has been amazing. Um, I've actually been in machining since 1988. I was still in high school and I was working in a machine shop and I currently still uh, help one of the guys that um, started at that shop when I did. He is the sole owner of that shop and I still help him now. Okay. Uh, we still collaborate. He helps us. He's uh, part of my advisory board. But um, you, you want to just, it, it is amazing at uh, how clean um, the um, the health the uh, the way that the the health department or the health people have stepped in and improved some of the uh, chemicals and stuff uh, not necessary chemicals we went to a lot of water soluble uh, coolants are safer for individuals to be around uh, the machines are a lot safer um, a lot cleaner the environments are controlled environments where you're working in the air conditioner. So uh, it, it, it's, it's pretty much now that um, uh, I have a lot of uh, female interest um, in the program because of the conditions have changed. So it's no longer just a man's world. Um, so it, it's being taken over by the ladies. I tell you what, I, I uh, having visited uh, in our new Center for Advanced Manufacturing, the new CNC labs, man, it is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, just it's almost like one of those situations where you got new cutting edge technology. Um, and machinists work from a variety of materials. So if I'm a machinist, I'm not simply working with a big hunk of iron, am I? No, sir. No, sir. Um, you could be working with uh, polymers, which are uh, plastics. Um, uh, you think about a lot of your food service industries. Uh, they deal with a lot of plastics um, and plastics are machine in a machine shop. So uh, the coolant has to be a food grade, uh, the equipment and stuff, it has to be clean. Uh, let's talk about the medical industry. When you start machining in the medical industry, it changes. You can't just do like you want to. You are in a very controlled environment. Um, the aerospace, aerospace is a very controlled environment. Uh, it has to be clean. It's almost like walking into an operating room. Um, it's, it's skirted, it's clean. Uh, the air is actually controlled. So uh, you going in, you got on a little bonnet and, and little booties over your shoes and one of the little white suits. So uh, <laughs> you, you, you a doctor then. So yes, sir. Okay, let's, 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 let's do this. Let's take a look at your programs one at a time and give us a general overview of what's happening. Okay. okay. Um, here I am, a young man that's coming in, and I want to get a CNC certificate. What's going on with you? All right. So um, if you um, if you step into our program or uh, take interest in our program, you could um, actually complete the CNC certification 
and is a little is under two semesters. Uh, you would take uh, four classes the first semester, which are also our first four, four classes for our diploma, our associate's degree, and our machine two operation certificate as well. And it's also the one four classes for our metrology cert. So you are on your way to four or five different directions from day one. Your second semester, you complete three courses and you can complete your uh, machine, your CNC certification. Um, I can make two phone calls and you'll be working the next day. Oh man, that, that's incredible. Um, well, let's, let's lean into that a little bit more. What's the, before we talk about a few more of the programs, I wanna make sure we have some time to do, to talk about the job outlook. What has the job, what is the job outlook now? Um, your guys and young and ladies, they're getting out there right away, as as I understand. Yes, yes. Um, the, the, we are we are experiencing um, probably one of the um, most incredible things I've seen in a while. Um, all of my students, I think I have like thirty seven students right now on my roster, and out of those thirty seven students, I only have two that are not working by choice. Uh, but any of my students, all of my students that I have now are working, uh, the issue or the concern that we usually have is that they get sucked out of the program because there's so much job opportunity. Uh, they take jobs and, and the pay scale, they, you know, they're getting paid very, very well. So um, you take uh, one individual or an individual that, that joins the program uh, coming from a job making, you know, eight, nine dollars an hour or minimum wage, um, they could go into a, a machining field uh, as an operator, making anywhere from 13 to $21 an hour starting out with just a certification. Wow. <laughs> Those are life-changing uh, statistics right there. Um, other things, uh, let's, let's, let's dive back into a couple more of your programs. Let's talk about the AAS and Machine 2 Technology. Uh, and let's talk a little bit about precision metrology, the certification. Okay. All right. Well, let me address the precision metrology since we just jumped from the CNC. So okay. the precision metrology or the quality certification, because a lot of people have no idea what metrology is, so we just coined it uh, the quality. Um, so the quality and the CNC cert, they go together, okay? Uh, the trend that's happening in the industry now is that you would be a CNC operator, but you would also be in charge of your own or in control of your own quality control. So your parts that you run, you are also the inspector of those parts as well. So uh, those two certs, we usually, uh, I can do those. Uh, if you were to sign up in the fall, we do fall, a summer, and finish the metrology in the spring. You can have two certifications in three semesters. Um, and yeah, ZF, uh, ZF Transmission, uh, they helped me uh, put those together. They helped me um, actually mend the two uh, certs. Um, and it's the same two that I do for their, uh, their um, operators in, at ZF Transmission. I, I'm assuming if you've got a corporation that, uh, that's as viable as ZF Transmissions in our communities, they're helping put together the program. They're hiring students. They're hiring students. They're hiring students. Um, to date, uh, at last count, um, I have worked with uh, over 138 of their machine two and quality people at ZF Transmissions. Man. 138 individuals. That speaks well, not only for your level of expertise and, and how you uh, uh, promote your program, but speaks tremendously about the opportunities that are available for students coming through the program. Yes, sir. Um, machine, uh, uh, you know, machine tool, uh, CNC is a technically skilled uh, program. So let's talk about, um, give us some indications of what types of physical uh, demands and uh, skills are necessary to be successful um, uh, with machine tool technology related. Programs. Okay, well, sure. Some of the, uh, the, the some of the um, physical demands have changed um, 
just because of some of the advancements in, in the industry. Um, uh, it used to be, you know, you got uh, an individual or two individuals and you lifting and picking up heavy parts all day um, with the, um, with the implementation, implementation of uh, cranes and uh, uh, lifting accessories. You, you no longer have to pick this stuff up. They, they make it accessible uh, to cut down on uh, work, work injuries and stuff like that. So uh, it's been more, um, more feasible for companies to invest in those things. So now we, we, they got uh, robots or what you would call cobots that work right alongside the individuals in, in the industry. So you watching a robot doing all the heavy lifting all day, all you doing is making sure that it's running right and doing what you told it to do. So you baby, you you babysitting uh Rosie from the Jetsons. <laughs> Cause I was about to ask you, uh Bill, did you say cobots? A cobot. It is called a cobot. A no. cobot works in tandem with the individual. So basically you would be in a cell and a foot from you would be a, a robot. We call them robots, but the technical term in the industry is a cobot. It actually loads and unloads the machine for you. I saw this 20 years ago uh, at a trade show that I went to, um, and it was actually loading, unloading the machine, uh, putting the parts on the inspector, and the inspector machine was actually relaying the information back to the CNC. And the, the guy that was running it, he was, he was over there doing something else. He was working on another machine, and it was, it was steady spitting out parts. That man, we can run lights out. So at five o'clock, when it's time to go home, Steve, you can cut the lights out and you still making money while you sleep. Oh, I might have to go get a second, uh, <laughs> get, get a side gig in CNC. <laughs> uh, but you know, the technical education programs that we have, uh, Philip, I know you and I have talked about this before. I think yes, sometimes sir. people, you know, have an old school view of what technical education is. Um, and sometimes individuals don't um, don't realize until they have an opportunity to come in and speak with you, see your labs, and my goodness, go see the new Center for Advanced Manufacturing. Yes, sir. And it changes their perspective over time. I remember when I was in, when I was director of admissions ten years ago, and, and which seems like forever ago. And things have changed so much in CNC machine tool in just that period of time to, it's almost unrecognizable to me with my original indoctrination of what was going on at the program to now going in and seeing these really clean, pristine work areas, the automation that's available and students who are working casually uh, doing tremendous things. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, um, it's it's so, just unreal. Let's talk about the physical demands. And and um, you take a guy like me. Now, I can add, subtract, multiply, and divide. How much math do I need to be in such a precise program? Because one of the questions that I would get continuously when I talk about CNC or, or machine tool and any types of precision uh, professions is I've got to be a math genius to do this. Steve, I, if I had a quarter for every time I've been asked that question since I've been here, I'm gonna show you a number and I got this number and I've been using the same five equations since 1988. I oh. used the same five, the same five tree algebra functions since 1988 and I use them now and I teach them to my students. Five, that's it. Five. Five equations. If you can do basic adding and subtraction, um, if you can count money, and everybody can count money. And if you can't count money, then we need we need to sit down and talk. And I need to borrow a hundred dollar bill from you. I give you your change back. <laughs> but um, it, it's basic. Uh, we we made it too difficult, um, and it, it's broke down. Uh, we are machinists, very skilled machinists. But even a novice can start out. And if you take notes, I tell my students all the time, you live and die without your notes. If you don't have them, you're not going to do well. If you take notes, 
you will be very successful because you have those notes to refer back to. It's too much for you to try to remember. Um, that's what notes are for. And uh, I got notes that I've taken, you know, 10, 15, 20 years ago, and I use them now in classes to uh, help instruct my students, and I give them the same notes. Um, and just to break that that math that math stigma off of them that they might be afraid of. We have a, a, a math class that we teach. My instructors and myself, we have a math class that we teach. And I try to get my students to take that course, which they do take it in the CNC cert before, or if they decide to go on in our program before they get to the, the upper level maths or the maths that's taught by our gen ed, um, mm -hmm. to help settle them down and get them comfortable. That's great. Um, do you guys partner with other businesses and industries in the in the uh, uh, area to keep your training current? Oh yes, yes. Um, we we have to. Uh, as much as it has changed um, since I've been here at Tech in the last eight years, it's 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 changed. It's like night and day from the time I've started. But um, it's just um, the companies that we partner with. A lot of times um, we we are either one, we are ahead of what they are doing, or okay. two, um, we are behind and it's just two companies, two types of companies. There's those that's been out there since, you know, 1969. And then there's those that are coming in now within the last four or five years that will be ahead. And so we we partner with both sides to have a, a good collaboration. Uh, okay. That is one reason why we still have and still are heavy on the manual machining side. Uh, it makes a stronger CNC individual. Oh, man, that's great. All right, I want to give you a little chance now to show off a little bit. You're going to talk you to me. I, talk I give you off a little bit. Yeah, talk your talk, you know, shoot your shot. Um, you know, you have some amazing technical equipment now. I, I've seen it. I'm looking at things now. And I'm thinking, if I touch that, I might like draw back a nub or something. It's like, do you touch that machine? But it, it, it's not the same kind of stuff. So tell us about your manual mills and your your lathes and and, and your Zeiss and Mutatorio coordinate measuring system. Talk about some of this great new stuff that you have that is turning your students into the cutting edge technologists that everybody wants. Well. Um... You, you asked about the, uh, the type of individuals or the companies that we work with. And um, those guys, they come in and they see what we have here uh, at, at, um, in our program, the, the equipment, the software that we have. And, and it's just like, it, they just blown away. Um, they are amazed at it. Uh, so uh, on our Greenwood location, so we do have machine tool at two locations. We have yeah. at Greenwood at the Bill Dale Center. And we are located also in Lawrence at the um, Center for Advanced Manufacturing, which is a lot smaller. Um, and we only go to the diploma. So I can only take you up to the diploma in Lawrence, but uh, in Greenwood at Odell Center, we have um, a CMM coordinate measuring machine, uh, which is a, um, a Michitoya brand. Uh, and we run, uh, M Cosmos, that is the software that drives it. So basically, if you can play a video game, you can run a lot of the stuff that I have because it is software driven. Okay. It is driven by software. So if you can, if you can plug and play and um, answer a question, then you can run just about anything that I have in-house uh, except for the manual stuff. And that would be a lot more hands-on um, that would be a lot more hands-on, but the CNC, my CNC equipment, uh, it is driven by um, uh, software, which is a, a master cam. It's a CAD uh, designing, uh, computer-aided machining software that we use, which uh, it, it is pretty much, uh, it runs tandem with our uh, engineering graphics department that's ran uh -huh. by Christina Knight. Um, and so our program, it pretty much resembles a, a several of our other programs that we have, but it would be a good segue for someone who was interested in looking at uh, a welding, um, the graphics engineering, or um, the mechanical engineering, 
uh, some of the other programs, our gunsmithing program, these programs all pair well with the machine program. Well, man, I tell you, uh, I've seen the growth. And so we've talked about job opportunities. We've talked about the new equipment. We've talked about, uh, um, you know, opportunities and partnerships with industries within our service district and beyond. We've talked about the ease of transitions from uh, some of the certificate programs into the degree programs, and also how all of the programs uh, work together with program with other programs like engineering technology to make someone a very well-rounded individual who is extremely employable, which is their ultimate goal for our institution. So is there anything else that we miss? Anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to say about your program uh, to the people that are watching that will, will see this video? Um, this is your time to give a quick recruiting pitch uh, to keep those uh, seats filled. Uh, well, uh, my sales pitch. Um, one of my instructors, Don Lynch, he always says that well, we are here to help transform lives. And I do believe that um, machine tool, but Piedmont Tech as a whole, no matter which program you choose, if you are, are out there and you're thinking about um, reinventing yourself or you're thinking about a career change, uh, Steve, when you get tired of sitting up there in that office, you can come on over here and I'll, I'll hook you up. Okay. <laughs> uh, but but uh, we are we are um, we we are a close knit program, and we just want to help you. We just want to help you uh, make that next move. Help you make that decision, whether it's with our program uh, or someone else program here. We we'll, we'll help you find the the right connection. We'll help you get to the right people, um, and we'll help you with with uh, making the right decision. So. Once you sign on our line that says machine two, it doesn't say that you have to stay here. We'll help you if you got to go somewhere else. You can go from machine two to nursing if you have to. We'll, we'll make sure we connect you to the right people. Listen, Phil, I've seen you working with your students. You and I have talked on a number of occasions. I know about your, I know how passionate you are about the program, but most importantly, I know how passionate you are about your students being successful and how you've been willing to go above and beyond uh, the call of duty to help students who may be struggling and also to make sure that everyone is having the same quality experience in your program. The program now speaks for itself. Uh, our machine tool technology program, uh, uh, metrology, CNC programs are some of the best, or the best in our service region and beyond. Our, our graduates are working in fields and in communities throughout the state of South Carolina and outside of the state of South Carolina. So kudos to you for taking what's been a great program to another level and even continuing to uh, improve on those improvements. Uh, we appreciate you. Um, anything else you'd like to add before? Cause see, you can't just take up all our time, man. We got other things we need to do. What you mean I can't do? Look, <laughs> uh, so I, I know people right now might be thinking, um, you know, what could I get from this? What could I get? Just pay us a visit. Come see what we got. Just come see us. You don't, no, no strings attached. You just visit us and, and talk to us. And um, if, if we can't help you, we'll find someone who can. That's, that's who we are at PTC. I have one quick thing to add. Yes, sir. I'm driving up 25 or I'm going over the lawns. Or I'm going to Newberry. I'm seeing signs, signs on the side of the road saying, we're hiring, we're hiring, we're hiring. I'm looking at the plants and there's ZF and there's uh, Colgate and there's uh, Great, Eaton. Bro. All of these people are, 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 are saying we're hiring right now. All of those companies, in a word, are they hiring machine tool technologists? They're hiring machine tool technology. They're hiring CNC operators. They're hiring uh, assembly people. Um, and assembly and CNC, they go hand in hand. Um, so, yes, these people are hiring. Philip. Thanks so much for coming on with us, man. We appreciate it uh, and, and, and uh, continued success and excellence that you've already exhibited. This is Steve Coleman. This has been another episode of PTC Live. Machine Tool Technology, one of the greatest and fastest growing programs in our service district and beyond. Opportunities abound. Come check us out at Piedmont Technical College.